Resort and Casino, and we are now upon, it is now upon us, the main event. Ryan Garcia has built a legion of fans, but realizes there are still those that aren't completely sold on his in-ring superstar potential. Tonight, he vows to send a message to them and to the world with his best performance to date. Standing in his way, Carlos Morales, who says he will expose what he calls a hyped-up kid and stop the Ryan Garcia train in its tracks. I mean, if you have any questions about the power of Ryan Garcia and this young man looks more than spectacular. Let's go put this show. Let's go put this work in. Let's go. This kid about to show who's the flash. Let's get it. Combination spins off the ropes and go in the middle of the ring. That's spring general show. He's also using all the mechanics that he knows from the amateurs down to the pros. And that's what I'm impressed by. He said he was going to give us a week. Wow. He gave us more than that. We can replay this entire fight. Ryan Garcia has go. power. And he shows that power when he put punches together. Those fighters get overlooked until they just sprint victory after victory after victory. And they, you know, they upset a few victories. Ladies and gentlemen, time now for the main event. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Carlos, for solution, Morales. So here comes. Carlos Morales, he's got a smile on his face, and he's got a lot of confidence that he can beat this young kid, and he's jealous. He'll tell you he is jealous of the attention that Ryan Garcia's had. He says, listen, I've fought big fights. I've been fan-friendly, but I don't get any attention. I don't get any respect. I'm going to earn it tonight. Well, that's why we saw a lot of people cheering or voting for Morales that he can win this fight. You know, when when you've got all the things that Ryan Garcia's got going on, you're going to... Uh, you're gonna, there's going to be a lot of envy in the game. But Carlos Morales has paid his due. And he knows how to fight. He's been there. He's a tough customer. Here is overwhelming his opponent. He goes upstairs and downstairs. He's a tough guy. He should be able to give Ryan some good rounds. If Ryan goes in a little too overconfident, Morales does have a shot to pull off the upset. It's a real fight. Carlos Morales, the and biggest now, fight of his ladies life. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the red corner. Please welcome from Victorville, California, King Rai, Ryan the Flash Garcia. King Rye, Ryan Garcia, 15 and 0, 13 knockouts, over a million followers on Instagram. There's nothing old fashioned about him. He is turning boxing on its head. He's doing it his way, and it's working so far, Mario. About as new school as you can get. Already coming out with Russell Rapper and into his entrance music. The kid has the star appeal. Making a star-like entrance. Let's see if he can give it, deliver a star performance. He's got a tough act to follow. That was a hell of a fight we just saw. Had the crowd on his feet, but they're all here to see King Rai do his thing. And do his thing is get a knockout. That's what these fans want to see. They want to see power and precision, which he has. They want to see him knock people out. He wasn't able to do that in his last fight. But he said, listen, I was a little dehydrated. I was drained. Making 130 is really tough on me. Tonight, he fights at 135 pounds. How will that change things? You're right. Especially with a young fighter. He's still growing. we got to remember, he just turned 20 years old. He's a big kid. He's going to feel 
He's probably faster and stronger than he's felt in a long, long time. Not having to stress on your body to make the weight. I think he fills it out nicely. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, we are live around the world. Welcome to the main event for the Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino in Indio, California. This is Golden Boy Fight Night on Facebook Watch. Ten rounds in the lightweight division are being presented to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Tonight's attraction is being sanctioned under the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman Jar Cavelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster, and our Supervising Inspector, Ernie Martinez. Our three judges at ringside score the cards, Max DeLuca, David Duncan, Edward Hernandez Sr., and our referee, Inside the ring at the sound of the bell, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Taylor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the millions of Facebook viewers watching around the world, we are making history tonight. Two diamonds, one ring, who will shine the brightest? Ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans, it's... Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner. On the shimmering black with multicolored trunks, he officially tempted the skills at 134.2 pounds. With 22 professional fights, his professional record consists of 17 wins, 6 victories by KO, 2 defeats, and 3 draws. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, from Santiago, Tulantepec, Hidalgo, Mexico. The reigning NABA Super Featherweight Champion, Carlos The Solution Morales. <laughs> and boxing out of the red corner, wearing the tan and white. He officially weighed in at already 134.4 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 15 victories. 13 KOs, no defeats. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. From Victorville, California. Here's the reigning NAPF, NAPO, Super Featherweight Champion, the undefeated King Rai. Gentlemen, to give the instructions on referee Thomas Taylor. Hey, back up, guys. Back up. All right, belt line's good here. Belt line's good here. Gentlemen, you've got your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. Good. Here's our tail of the tape. It is our main event. This place is buzzing. Carlos Morales, the veteran, 28 years old. Can he be the solution to the kid, as he calls him, Ryan Garcia, who will have a half-inch reach disadvantage? Here's our poll. Who will Get win the main event? Gentlemen. You think it'll be Garcia by a 59 to 41 percent margin? Hey, Here we go. In the towel. The 41 percent is a little more than I thought. Sorry. But Ryan Garcia has proven so far that he can handle the spotlight. Let's see if it continues to be the case. Ten rounds, lightweight division. Garcia wanting a knockout. Carlos Morales wanting respect, wanting fame, wanting fortune. Ryan showing that hand speed already with those fast jabs, those little counter left hooks. Over the top of the lazy jabs. Crowd chanting his name. Let's hope Ryan doesn't get overwhelmed by the moment, knows how to pace himself and fights his fight. Just turned 20 a few days ago, did Ryan Garcia. But he is wise beyond his years. If you've ever talked to him or ever heard him speak, sounds like a 40 year old, not a 20 year old. Very patient in there right now, not trying to force anything. But sometimes you can get. Overwhelmed by the moment or feel pressured. Morales has never been stopped, ladies and gentlemen. Garcia vows to do it tonight. He's on the front foot. Oh, and it looked like Morales got a nice shot in there with the left hand. 
As for Garcia, he's never... Oh, and he got caught with another right there. Garcia said he's never been knocked down. In fact, he said, I've never even been dazed in a fight. Morales wants to make it a nastier fight. He wants to be able to fight in the inside. He can't match Ryan for speed, staying on the outside. He doesn't want to get in there careless or go in there like the rooster. <laughs> but he's a savvy veteran. Ryan, who's been fighting since he was seven, year old, seven years old and all over Southern California, He's fought a lot of tough cu tough customers like this in gyms. It was interesting because Ryan Garcia said he didn't really have a love for boxing. He said he played baseball. And he, he loved baseball. He said he was really good. But at the end of the season, his team finished in fourth place. And he was like, this isn't fun. I want to win championships. And his dad said, you know what? Become a boxer. You control your own destiny. You can be as good as you want to be. And from then on, he, he preferred the sweet sights. That's why I've always been partial to individual stop, stop, sports. Stop, 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 stop. You don't have to worry stop, stop, stop. about the other guy working as hard as you stop. are. Back up. If he doesn't want it as bad, you get all the glory. But if you lose, you also get all the blame. There's nothing like that. Sounds like a pep rally in here, Tom. It does. Every seat has been sold out. Or every seat has been sold, rather. It is sold out. Standing room only in Indio, California. All right, stop, 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 stop. No punch, no punch. Stop, Morales and no Garcia punch. for a while worked out at the back. same gym. And Garcia's manager said, frankly, I'm surprised Morales took this fight because Listen he's seen what Gentlemen. Garcia Listen can do in training. I think Morales knows deep down that he can't win this fight. Time. Let's bring in Roxy Diaz. Looking at what Facebook is saying right now. Steven Lucia saying this fight ends by KO by the fifth round. King Rai wins. A lot of Garcia fans hanging out with us right now. Jackie Zun, Ryan winning knockout by the fifth round. Kimberly Perez is just so hyped to even be a part of the situation. And Matt Garcia, Ryan with the KO in the fourth. Keep those comments coming. Hey, keep some questions coming in. I'll ask your question when I get in the ring. Hashtag Golden Boy FN is the hashtag we're using tonight. Back to you, Mario and Todd. Thank you, Roxy. And I thought. Actually, we have a comment for Roxy. Roxy, you wearing that dress. No, you got to say it like, Roxy, you wearing that dress. I like the way that Roxy's fingernails match her dress color. Very Take impressive. I'm all compliments from now on for Roxy DX. Who won round one? According to you, 80% of you said it was Ryan Garcia. I thought he did too, and I thought he was patient. Established his jab nice. He's trying to time those counters with that left hook. I think it's a good game plan to stay from the outside. I would pump it a little bit more and go upstairs and downstairs with it. Hey, Morales caught him with a couple shots in the first round. That surprised you? Well, no. That's the thing about Ryan, though. He stays very erect when he... Um, fights, he's upright, and he is susceptible if, if you can time it, but he, he, he's usually so fans with his, with his hands that he's able to overcome that deficiency, what I see. Morales sees something, though, in him standing so upright with that looping right hand. Mario, you're a boxing aficionado. Stop, stop, stop. Putting no all no the no hype no aside back, and all, all the, the lights that surround Ryan Garcia. From a pure boxing standpoint, how good is he? He's good. You could tell he had a strong amateur background. His physical traits, he's fast, he's long, he's, he's, he's athletic with his feet as well. Obviously, still room for improvement, and I think he's got a high ceiling. But what you can't teach is star appeal and that it factor, and that he definitely has in loads. But I think Golden Boy's doing a good job in the way they're matchmaking him and bringing him along. Because this is a real fight. I think it'll continue to progressively get tougher and tougher, and they'll match him well. We're expecting record-breaking numbers tonight on Facebook Watch. We thank you for joining us tonight. You're watching our main event, Ryan, King Rai Garcia, and Carlos the Solution Morales. Garcia in the white gloves, Morales in the black. Ryan let his right hand go right there. First one I've seen of the night. You know, earlier in his career, it was the left hook that did a lot of damage for Garcia, but recently that right hand's been up in the game as well. And with that hand speed, I'm surprised that he doesn't let the combinations flow a little bit more. 
Nice little counter, but he's a patient fighter. For a young fighter, he's disciplined. A couple good jabs there for Morales. And we know that the crowd can sometimes sway judges. Do you think Morales is going to get a proper shake here tonight? I think the crowd, I think the judges have done a really good job based on the score so far. I mean, uh, granted, we had a knockout the last uh, time, but I think based on the one um, fight where I had it exactly the same as I stop, stop, stick stop, to the judge, stop. No punch, be no punch. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Hey, give me a favor. Don't do that. Don't throw him down like that again, right? Yeah, that's a little bit of experience maybe shining through Morales, pushing yeah, the no, kid no, around. Don't throw him down. Let's go. Cut the shit, all right? Let's see if Ryan lets him get to him. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Listen for that bell. Come on! Good finish to the round there. This crowd almost deafening in here. Really into this fight. You don't know if you get really excited. excited. Okay. Ryan Garcia this time. Are you going to right? Yeah. Yeah. Last five fights for Carlos Morales. Bounced back from a loss, a tough loss to Alberto Machado with a win. Machado would go on to win a world championship. And you know what? Morales had him hurt in that fight late. I thought he was going to beat Machado. But at the end, it was a loss for him. As for Ryan Garcia, of course, undefeated. Jason Velez took him the distance. A lot of people were surprised by that. Garcia had him staggered several times but couldn't finish. That was a tough fight in the sense that he's a mover. Jason Velez doesn't stand right in front of you. Gives you weird angles. It's hard to look good against a guy like him. George Rodriguez saying Mario Lopez knows his boxing. I hope so. We're paying you to know boxing, aren't we? Thanks, George. I appreciate it, man. It's been a pleasure tonight. A lot of fun, by the way, Mario. Yeah, it has been always fun hanging out with you, Todd. We've been lucky that we've been uh, blessed with some great fights. Good counter punch there from Garcia. Yeah, I like when he follows that right hand up with those quick jabs. Right, stop, 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 stop. No punch. No punch. Garcia with a six-week training camp for this fight. He's living in Costa Mesa, California right now. Has an apartment there. Yeah, no longer staying in Victorville at the moment. Got his family here. Jason Mejia saying, even my one-month-old son is hyped for this. Raising him right, Jason. By the way, I want to give a shout-out to my two-year-old daughter, Cora, who accidentally stuffed a pup, Peppa Pig toy up her nose last night and had to go to the emergency room. But she's okay. But she's okay. Thanks for asking. Okay. That Peppa Pig. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ryan is peppering him with his jab, being very patient. Enrique, if Machado couldn't KO Morales, Ryan won't KO him. What do you think about that? Well, Machado doesn't necessarily have the speed of Ryan Garcia, and speed kills. And Ryan, it, it's his counter punching and his speed that actually has been a large part of his result for the uh, his knockout power. Morales coming in. Morales is going after me. He is. He is. But well, he was having some success with the looping overhand right, but he's not setting it up as well. Just sort of lunging in. All right, stop punching. Not no feigning or doubling hey, up on his jabs. I say no punch, no, no punch. Don't do it like again. Cut right. either over the eye or on the nose. The bridge. I think he may have two cuts actually. And that's interesting because in his last fight against Darden Zanunai, he was uh, that fight was stopped because of cuts. Went to the scorecards. Morales' face was all busted up there. Zanunai actually said, "Listen, I." I was turning the tables in this fight, and he stopped it going to the judges' scorecards too early. I could have won this fight. A nice shot there from Garcia. The blood seems to have invigorated Ryan. Whoa, he caught one. And look at the smile on the face of Morales. Blood maybe giving him a false sense of security, but... Hey, I think already we're seeing maybe the toughest fight Garcia's been in. And this is good for Ryan. These good, tough rounds with this veteran. This is only going to improve his development and help him grow as a fighter. Work on it, guys. That is on A good round here for Morales. Did he do enough to win? We want to hear your votes right now. Good stuff here in Indio, California. The veteran and the kid in a good one.
Let's bring in Roxy Diaz again. As you guys can tell, it's a sold out crowd crowd here in Indio, California. I'm standing with Angelique. Angelique, you're a fan of Ryan Garcia, correct? Yes, crazy fan. Crazy fan. Were you even a boxing fan before this? Yes, actually, I'm a boxer myself, so I've always looked up to him, and yeah. What do you think it is about Ryan Garcia that brings all the young people together to want to come and watch a Ryan Garcia fight and watch it on Facebook? His crazy speed. For sure. sure. Thank you so much. Back to you, Mario and Todd. She's about the prettiest little fighter I think you've ever seen. (laughs) There's like a whole new wave of just nice-looking kids. (laughs) Michaela Mayer may take him. Look at the cuts. They've been frequent for Morales. And I believe it was from the result of a punch. I didn't notice any clash of heads. There's the punch that Garcia took. Again, Garcia said, I've never been buzzed. He may have been buzzed right here. He took it well. Didn't seem to slow down. You can see see Ryan's mom standing up, giving instruction, ringside. Ryan Garcia, the 2017 ESPN Prospect of the Year. Big things expected from this 20-year-old. He's certainly facing adversity here tonight. He's got his hands full with a real fighter. And not every fight is he going to be able to blow everyone out and walk through. And if he did that, he wouldn't develop and be prepared for the breaks of the game. So it's exactly the kind of fight that he needs. Everyone gave round three for Garcia. We need everybody. All right, stop, stop, stop. And another push down no, there for Morales. It's two sorry, tackles sorry, for sorry. Morales. <laughs> right. Sorry, you guys. This guy got tangled. And the blood so, flowing hey. on Morales' nose. So, it's the bridge of it, so not a, not a bad area, if you will. It's not going to impair his vision. Ryan seems to get inspired by the blood on his opponent's face. Stop, stop, stop. No, no punch, Mario, no you punch. get to interview a lot of celebrities every guys. week when you're on Extra and all Let's the go. other things you do. When they say that someone has the it factor, what does that mean? And does Garcia have it? Yes. You can't exactly put your finger on it, but I mean, I think it's obvious with him. He's a good looking kid. He's charismatic, young, very, uh, as he says, goofy personality and fun. And he can fight. And that's rare. It, there's never really been a fighter like him, at least recently, that's kind of a goofball. And, oh, a quick right hand snapping power there for Garcia. And a nice left hook followed by that, too. Jose, Jose Gutierrez had a nice little comment saying he's impressed with his speed, but would like to see him put uh, more punches together, follow up with that right hand. Earlier tonight, Roxy Diaz asked Ryan Garcia, hey, Carlos Morales calls you a goofball. Does that bother you? And Garcia said, no, it doesn't bother me. I am a goofball, so come do something about it. Tough right, goofball. Let go, let go. Morales shaking his head no, but we know sometimes that actually means yes. You got me. All the time it means yes. <laughs> it's more like he predicts themselves. And a rare double jab for Morales. Now it's Morales trying to push the pressure in the tone. And that's the fight that Morales needs to make. Get him into a corner. Attack the body. Slow the kid down. He's abandoned the jab. He's not jabbing anymore. Ryan, get off his head, Ryan. All right, stop, stop, stop. No problem. Straight back, straight back. Stop at the bell, gentlemen. right there another solid round for ryan garcia morales not making it easy on him for sure no he's rough he hasn't figured out exactly how to keep, cut him off and keep him in the corners and keep him, keep him in one place to be able to attack that body but he's not making it easy for him to do that. he's keeping it uncomfortable the Germans are watching. Go, Ryan, you got this, champ. That's what Garcia told us. He said, listen, you're going to be shocked at people that are up at like 4 and 5 in the morning watching me around the world. Replay from the break. Big right hand from Ryan landing right there. He's shaking his head, but he caught him well. Mouthpiece is still, guys. Mouthpiece. How would you rate Garcia's performance through four rounds? Five. I think he's doing a good job. He's fighting disciplined, not getting careless. I'd like to see him double, triple up his jabs. And put a couple more combos and go to the body a little bit more. 
What about Morales? Morales, I think, has had moments, but hasn't figured out how to put it together. And I like to see him cut off the ring, attack his body. He's got a young, fast opponent in front of him. He needs to try to slow him down. You can see there, he's not going to be too successful with counter punches just because of the speed. There's such a great disparity. It's interesting. It seems like every round they take turns being the aggressor and being the counter puncher. See, I'd love to see Ryan double, triple up on the jab, jab to the head, jab to the body, faint, come up with a right hand combination. He likes to throw that jab, try to time you with the left hook. Carlos didn't mind the solution as to where he got it. He said, my former trainer gave me the nickname. When he was an amateur, they bring in other boxers from different gyms that would beat everyone else in the gym, but he would always find the solution. He would always be able to beat the kid. Garcia's being a problem for him tonight. Let's see if we can figure it out as the rounds progress. We're in round five, scheduled for stop, 10 stop. here. No punch, no punch. Sold out Fantasy Springs, Casino, and Resort. Let's go. Who won round four? 83% say it was Ryan Garcia. Ooh, Garcia just missing with that right hand. Ryan let his hands go a little bit more. And now here comes Morales on the front foot. All right, stop, stop. No punch, no punch. Guys, hey, both of you guys, let's stop the wrestling, all right? Let's stop the wrestling. Both of you guys, all right? Warning there for Thomas Taylor. Chance of his name. Low in the action, abandoning the jab at the moment. Good body shot there with the right hand for Garcia. Single body shot though, not setting it up, no combo following it. Not a lot of wasted effort with Ryan and his punches. Well conditioned, doesn't seem to ever uh, get tired. <laughs> This point in his um, in his fights in his career. Let him go, Ryan. Let him go. Let go of the arm. Let go. All right, stop. No punch. No punch. Straight back. Let's go. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Time right there. That'll do it for round five. Hello, girls. Thanks for being a part of Golden Boy Fight Night live here on Facebook Watch. DJ Susie spinning the hits. Who's that guy on? Is that security? Who's the guy with the headset? What's he doing? Susie, my, that's Raul. Her homie has her back. <laughs> She's doing a good job on the ones and twos. Boom! And there you're not going to go Angel saying, thank you, Gun Boy, watching on Facebook from my Xbox on the big screen. So many different ways to check this out. That's so new school. It's fantastic. From all over the world, different you that, that, that two ways you can watch it. Gavin says, double that jab of Garcia and the KO will come. Sending support from the UK, home of boxing, passionate fans out there in Britain. You know, Gavin, you should, that's exactly what I've been saying all night. Double, triple that jab. Go to the head, go to the body. Follow it up with a couple combinations. Back up for me. Back up for me. The big fight that Ryan Garcia has his mind on, Javante Davis. That's the that's the fight he wants eventually. We asked the matchmaker for Golden Boy, and he told us, listen, it could happen within 12 months. Depending on how Ryan looks tonight, do you think he's seen enough positivity to, to step up to that level within a year? Well, we're halfway through the fight. Let's see how this, how he develops his game plan or executes it, I should say. Um, Guys, work on that, right? All right, at, stop. At the end of the night. Good Another job. fighter around his age, who I really like, who I think is right in that mix, talented kid, Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez is a, I think that kid's a special fighter. Yep. Strong, fast, has it all. Exciting time right now with but Teofimo, Gervonta, and um, Ryan. But we've seen sometimes it's not about, just like the KSI fight recently, it's all about the hype. It's all about what people want to see. Right. And Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia going back and forth on social media. There's a nice shot for Garcia. All right, stop, stop, stop. No punch. No this punch. into the corner for Ryan Garcia. All right, he's slipping in. He's slipping in. Simulate. Go. One, two, easy. One, two. One, two. Take 
get right right there. What that nose right seems to get progressively right worse for Carlos Morales. But he's used to tasting his own blood. Does it almost every fight. Total punches landed so far through stop, 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 stop. No five punch. and a half Step rounds back. here. Let's take a Go. look at the, the stats. Oh, left hook there. A little baby left hook for Garcia. And then a one-two. And now all of a sudden, Cabrera's trying stop, to hold stop. on. Excuse Ryan? me, Morales trying to hold on. Ryan has done a good job closing out his fights and being a right, great stop. finisher. No punch, no punch, straight back. He's just setting it up and getting to that point. Nice body shot. Gotta let him go. All right, no punch, no punch, no punch. Let him go. Ryan, you gotta let him go. Let's go. This crowd waiting to explode. Morales just not letting his hands go. Having a tough time getting, keeping Garcia in the corner. And closing the distance. Ryan, to his credit. Ryan, get off the top of his head. Doing a good Ryan, job stop, either no tying punch, him no up. Punch, straight back. Let him go, Ryan. Moving out of position. Let's go. Ten seconds to go here in round six. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Time! Four rounds left. All right, Jack. He's hurt. All right, bro. That's what you got to do. That fucking right hand is there all day. All day. That right hand is there all day. Okay. Got it. Here's a replay of Ryan with a double jab followed by a left hook. He likes that punch. I'd love to see a right hand follow that. Really showing off the speed. Double jab, left hook. Morales, tough guy, took it well. Ryan, seven. Seven. Back up for me. Back up for me. So Morales running out of time here if he wants to knock off Ryan Garcia. The thing about Ryan Garcia is he naturally seems like a counter puncher, but he needs to get off first. He has the speed, he has the skill set, and if he wants those knockouts. I think when you have the physical, physical attributes that he has, you can let your hands go a little bit more. He's full of confidence, that's for sure. Believes he can take boxing on his shoulders to the next level, bringing a lot of new young fans. Get off his head, Ryan. All right, stop. No punch, guys. I'm sure there are a lot of you watching here on Facebook back. Watch right now that maybe have never seen a boxing match before. Hope you're enjoying it. Pat Coon saying Morales got dazed by the left. And if you are tuning in for the first time, this is a special, special sport. It takes a real that, special guys. type of individual that, to get on, in there right? completely by right, yourself, stop, no virtually Straight naked. Back. Straight back. Both, <laughs> well, yeah, physically, <laughs> essentially, but just emotionally, you're, you're there all by yourself. It's a purest form of gladiators and Roman times as, as it gets. And they, there's a saying within boxing that you don't play Fast. boxing. It's not like Fast. any other sport. Fast. You don't play stop, stop. No it. Punch, fight. No punch. Here's a Good corner job, right now for Carlos Morales. Come on! Come on. Corner urging him to put the pressure and let his hands go. There you go! And now Morales, He's hurt. He's hurt. they think that they've got him hurt. He's hurt! Watch all of me, all right? He's hurt! Hey, 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 back up. Stay, stay down. What he's do you hurt, think, Mario? Is he hurt? He's hurt. retreating for a little bit. Maybe he's catching Bobby. his hand or... Waiting for that quick counter. Stop, stop. No punch. Morales not no taking punch. advantage of the situation. Go. Just with a low reaction on his end. Watch the hooking of the head, all right? Back up from me. Let's go. Well, if he was hurt, you'd think the, he shook off the cobwebs by now. 
Whoa, that shot got him. And the legs are buckled. Hold on a second now. Ryan Garcia has lost his momentum and lost his balance. Ryan got to let him go. Let's go. He looked like he got clipped a little there. Keep an eye on his legs. When a boxer loses his legs, everything's gone. Oh, and that was a big hit behind stop, 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 the stop. ears. Ryan, watch Morales. Looking, right? And you saw Garcia glance up at the clock. He wants out of this round. Could fatigue be hitting, setting in? Could Dizzy shot? He's really retreated in this round. Right, stop. No punch, no punch. Let him go. Let him go. A Let big go. round here for Carlos Morales. A big round. That was his moment. Will he get stop, another stop, stop, stop. one? This is for the bell. Time. So pump the brakes, everybody, on the Ryan Garcia train. I gave that round to Morales. Great, great. Great, easy out. Yeah. You got to be responsible when you get there. And you just stay off the back of his head. You can't both of them, all right? Yes, sir. When you were inside those timeouts, work the fucking body like we have, you know what I'm saying? You, you need to work his body, all right? All right? It's a little... Take more of his fucking win. He's already tired. Here's a replay. Big jab for Morales. More of an off-balance shot, but it looked like it kind of stunned him. Steve says he was holding him running. Garcia was hurt. Go, seconds out. Mouthpiece in. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Morales' trainer urging him to press the action. Let's see if he recovers. But oh, Owen right out of the gates. Another shot lands for Morales. Garcia has never been tested like this, ladies and gentlemen. He's never been knocked down, never been buzzed, at least by his own account. Morales senses that he's in danger, really pressing the action. Morales would be wise to let his hands go, seize the opportunity. Take advantage. Just like in his last fight, Morales coming on late. Nearly beat Machado, and he's got Ryan Garcia, it appears, in a little bit of trouble. Ryan needs to start letting his hands go, earn that respect back, and keep that jab at bay. This is Garcia's first fight at 135 pounds. Moved up a weight Look class. That, guys. Let his arm go. All right, stop. No punch. No punch. Go. Total punches landed. Well, Look at that. Morales outlanding Garcia. In the last round, it was two to one. Good body shot there for Morales. Garcia not firing back like he has been. Took another big shot. How nervous would you be right now if you're in the corner of Ryan Garcia? It didn't seem like that big of a shot, Todd. It seemed, I don't know if it was a combination of just being fatigued. And that particular shot kind of put it in the ex accelerated the fatigue. Ryan answering back now, maybe getting a second win. All right, stop, no punch, guys, straight back. Let's go. A lot of nervous energy right now here. Yes, the crowd seems to have... You can feel the, the tension right, and the no sense punch, of concern. No hey, don't do right, just don't do that. And Morales stop. knocking on the door there. The referee didn't appreciate it. It appears that Morales can't win this fight on the scorecards. He needs a knockout. Well, Morales sensing that the tide's turning a little bit. Not being able to take full advantage of the situation. Ryan, meanwhile, seems to have gotten his legs back from under him. And another glance up at the screen for Garcia. Let him go, Ryan. Let him stop, stop. No punch. Straight back. Let's go. 30 seconds to go here in round eight. Ryan Garcia needs to start jabbing. Playing that four corners defense if, in fact, fatigue is an issue. Still two more rounds to go. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Another good round for Morales, who's really come back strong in this fight. What do you think, Mario? Uh, you know, 
he didn't take as full advantage as he could have. Morales, but the Domenos does seem to have turned a little bit. Yeah, and the fucking body. That's one of where that fucking died. I think it may have been another round Beautiful for shot that he gave him right there. That fucking had him so tight. Listen, that one, two is there. It's there. Got to do it fast, exactly. Put that bitch that bitch. Turn the punch over. Get the full force of it. I'm throwing that right hook it up. Throwing that right hook to the rim. Here we go. Landed by Carlos Morales. Beginning of the round with Carlos Morales landing that big left hook. Catching Ryan Garcia flush on the chin. He said he's never been buzzed. I guarantee you he felt that one. Ready? Ready? Time in. Time in. Handled it well, though. Stayed upright. So six minutes to go now. If you're Ryan Garcia in his corner, do you kind of go into survival mode here, or do you just go on the attack? I asked my fighter how he's feeling conditioning-wise. I get back to establishing my jab and continuously pump it. If I get in close, I hold. I don't get in exchanges. Well, if you gave the last two rounds to Morales, which you did, and he wins the next two, it will be a 6-4 win for Garcia. But one of those earlier rounds, who knows? Judges could have given that to Morales. So certainly it would behoove Garcia to win one of these two final rounds. Sam agreeing with you, Mario. Let's see what Facebook thought about that last round. Well, they gave it to Gar Garcia. They've given every round to Garcia, which is a okay, real guys, stretch. Let him, go, let him go. Stop, stop, stop. No punch, no punch. I have him winning the Fine, fight. Watch it just holding, feels watch it like the momentum and the tide has turned a little bit. Carlos Morales vowed to get respect tonight, and I think he's gotten that for sure. Morales has two rounds. To work, he needs to get a little rooster esque and be busy and let those hands fly. We're gone, that guys. Ryan needs to pump that jab, keep it pesky in his face, and apply stop, stop, a lot stop, stop, of lateral no punch, movement. No punch. Straight back. This round's been pretty sloppy. A lot of hugging and grabbing. Nice kind of left shot by Ryan. All right, stop, 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 stop. No punch. Not sure if right, his go. feet got caught on the Let's go. Let's go. canvas or if he just kind of lost his balance there. Garcia, yeah. a little awkward. I think there was a little tripping of the feet. Seems like this round's still up for grabs. I don't like seeing the back pedaling. Morales saying, hey, let's fight, man. Stop, stop. Ryan, stop. Gotta watch the holding, all right, man? Yes, sir. Let's go. Ooh, Ooh big left hook. Yeah, right. Morales. Morales caught Garcia, and Garcia caught Morales, too, but it seems like Garcia's worse for wear as he retreats again. Stop, stop, stop. No knockdown. No knockdown. It's all right. Come here. Come here. Take a little peek at the. Yeah, I think gloves. judges notice that stuff. Garcia continuously looking at the big screen Listen to check the, the time left in the round. Three minutes to go. Much better. You gotta pop that job on Let's go. Work the body. Get in the zone and let's get this in, all right? Put it in the back. Make it clear in the back. That line of muscle me, man. He's there all day. Over the top, he's there all day. Last round, baby. You're not throwing that right hook enough. Here's a replay with another big left hook. Landing from Carlos Morales. And I've given him the last three rounds. Not that 
he's been having huge success but doing enough to eat out the round in my eyes. Round 10, the final round, three minutes to go. Has Garcia done enough in the early rounds that he can lose this round? Here's Mario's scorecard, and it's gotten pretty close. Yeah, I've got it six rounds to, to, to three, and it seems like ever since he took that big left hook, another big right hand from Carlos Morales. No no Just the tide back. turned a little bit. And these are the fights that Ryan needs to develop as a fighter. That's going to make him better. That's going to make him tougher. It's going to help him persevere. Ryan, let go that out, Ryan. Let go that out. And let us not forget, Morales not really known as a power guy. Six wins by knockout and 17 victories. So if he was getting clipped by somebody with more strength, Garcia could be in some serious trouble. That's why the Gervonta Davis fights, those sort of conversations, we don't want to have them in a premature sense. These, these fights do make you better, but you know, you, you, you'll rush to these sort of big event scenarios right away. All right, stop, let's stop, keep stop, developing, stop, let's back. keep learning. Let's keep getting better as a fighter. Garcia trying to rally here in the tenth after maybe losing a couple rounds. Yeah, he's looking better letting his hands go a little bit more. Stop, stop. Straight back. But there's a lot more holding on his end. 90 seconds left here. Stop, 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 stop. The sold-out Fantasy Springs so Resort and Casino. Added extra chairs for this fight. Ryan Garcia, a huge star. In Southern California, especially. Ryan showing some life. The crowd just waiting to erupt on some. Back it off the set, Ryan. Let him go, Ryan. All right, stop, stop, stop. No points. I think Morales still believes he might need a knockdown here to cement his place in this fight, get the respect he thinks he deserves. He's got Garcia backing up for the most part. But I thought Garcia answered well in this run. I think he's let his hands go a little bit more, and he's been more effective. Enough to win the round so far, in my Oh, straight right there, Lance, for Garcia. Just seconds left here. Could we have a late knockdown? Both guys letting the power punches fly. Here we go, 10 seconds left. And they went the distance. And that will do it. Will Ryan Garcia remain unbeaten or has Carlos Morales pulled off a big upset here in California? I think Ryan did enough to win the fight, but it was interesting, and it got interesting when you saw the tide turn and you saw the momentum shift a little bit. I don't know if he was hurt, if it was fatigue, if it was an injury, or if Morales was just coming on strong. We'll find out. Yeah, he was looking at the clock starting about round seven. Yeah, you're exactly right, Todd. But for his development, this is all, these are the type of fights you need. Obviously, Garcia steals all the headlines, but let's talk about how great Carlos Morales did here tonight. Carlos Morales came to fight. He came with a little attitude, was not intimidated, didn't buy into all the hype, got his nose busted, went through. Round one, you saw Brian really pumping the jabs and landing some nice counter shots. Still holding there, but in round two, Morales had certain moments as well. But I thought for the most part, in the early part of the fight, Ryan was keeping him at bay. Round three, Carlos landed a couple right hands. He had to close the distance, wasn't able to, to stay consistently inside and get some work done. Both having their moments. At this point, I still had Ryan in my head. And he was, he was doing those nice little counter right hands. Moments when I thought he had him buzzed. And then in round six, things started to get a little interesting. He caught Morales with nice shots. 
Then at some point, it looked like he just got a little buzz, a little fatigue. We don't know what it is, but you could felt the momentum turning. In round eight, the big shot started landing. Ryan started retreating, holding a lot, looking at the clock. Another big shot. Big left hooks. Morales isn't even setting those up, just walking right in, winging left hooks. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecard, let's give these two warriors a big round of applause. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. Judge Max DeLuca scoring this one 98 to 92. Judge David Denker scoring this one 95 to 95. And Judge Edward Hernandez scoring this one 98 to 92 for your winner by majority decision. Fighting out of the red corner. Judge scored an even 95-95, the other two in agreement, 98-92. Your reaction, Mario? Wow, they had it a little closer than I did. I mean, listen, there's a strong case to be made that Carlos won the last four rounds easily. And like you mentioned, Todd, there could have been a discrepancy in the first few rounds. Give them either way. I thought Ryan did enough to win, but to squeak out a win. It wasn't a landslide by any means. It was a tough victory, but I thought he put enough rounds in the bank early on to pull away with it. Long term though, how good was this night for his career for Ryan Garcia? I think it's, it's going to keep him humble, or it should. <laughs> He's going to go back uh, to the drawing board and look, uh, work on what he needs to uh, work on in the gym. All right, let's send it in now to Roxy Diaz. Ryan, you just turned 20 years old a few days ago. Your opponent was saying that you're nothing but a kid. Do you think you proved yourself a man today? First, I'm going to say much respect to Carlos Morales. I felt like the fight was closer than the scorecard say. He did a great job. I'm giving all my respect to him, and uh, it was great. It, it was a great fight. Was fatigue ever an issue during the fight? We saw you looking up at the big screen every once in a while to see how much time you had left in the rounds. Was it a tougher fight than you thought it would be? Honestly, I just felt like it uh, could have been a, a lot of things, but I was a little winded. But uh, I, I admit it, I was winded and he was coming to fight, so we were just fighting. That's all I can say. After this fight and your performance tonight, do you think you're ready for a Javante Davis? I don't care what nobody says. I'm young and I'm hungry. I just got to get back to the gym and work on my craft, and I can be ready for anybody. I'm young. I have time on my side, so I'm not worried about it. What would you like to say to all of those fans that tuned in tonight to Facebook just to watch you fight tonight? Regardless, man, I got so much loving fans. It's crazy. But, uh, again, much respect to Carlos Morales. He, he, he was a game fighter, and I respect him, and that's all I can say. Thank you so much. Once again, congratulations to you, Ryan. Back to you, Todd and Mario. Ryan Garcia remaining undefeated, but he thought the fight was actually closer than the judges had it, Mario. He gave all the props in the world to Morales. Yeah, he did, which, which was nice to see. But you know, listen, you heard, you heard the crowd reaction. So, you know, this crowd, yeah, it, it, it's a knowledgeable fight crowd. They really got behind all the fighters from Rincon to Rooster, and they, 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 they know their fights. I think they appreciated the effort. But, you know, Ryan was humble in his victory. I think he realizes and he admitted that he got winded, which was, I thought, something that was a little bit of a concern. And I think he, it's all a development. He's just 20 years old. He's a young kid. He's got a high ceiling. And it's just, you know, back to the drawing board and to keep, to keep working on the craft. Yeah, I thought it, it spoke volumes when Roxy asked him, is he ready for Javante Davis? He didn't actually say no.